Hi Fiddlers, I am Lauren Ryu and I am coming um, at you today from Jam with Lauren headquarters in Scarborough, Maine. And I'm really excited to be collaborating with iFiddle Magazine to teach you a tune today. I was thinking that we would learn a really great old time tune in Cross A called Booth Shop Lincoln. And so I have my uh, Jonathan Cooper viola here, it's a five string, and I have it tuned um, to A, A, E, A, E. And so if you don't have a five string, no worries, we're not going to play any melodies on that fifth string. But if you do have a five string, I would recommend tuning it all the way down to the A. So just one more time in case you're not familiar with cross tunings. You keep the first, the first two strings the same, the open E and the open A, and then you tune your D string up to an E and your G string up to an A. So it's nice we have a full A chord, um, A, E, A, E, and then if you have that optional C string, go ahead and tune it down to an A. So let me play this tune for you. Lots of reasons. It's just really um, quite a happy tune, despite its title, and um, it's also really great at any tempo. It's one of those classic tunes that you could go a lot faster than that, or quite a bit slower, and it still has such a nice lilt, and um, and it's just really got a nice groove to it. So let's get started on learning this tune. I'm a big fan of understanding the form of the tune before you start learning it so you can kind of set yourself up for what phrases are the, are the same or very similar and what's new material. So in the A part, the first and third phrases are the same. So I want you to hear that. Here's the second phrase. That's all new material. We repeat the first phrase, but we call it the third phrase. And then a totally new fourth phrase. When we go on to the B part, we have a new first phrase. Um, uh, and then the second phrase is actually a variation of the fourth phrase. It's only one note different. Third phrase is the same as the first, and then we use the same fourth phrase from the A part. On the repeat of the B, we have um, another thing that happens that I'm really that I'm also a fan of. We play the first phrase again, and the second phrase. For the third phrase, we go back to the A part and borrow the third phrase from the A part. And the fourth phrase is the fourth phrase no matter what part you're on. So we really only have phrases one and one from the B part and then two and a half. We have like 
three and a half phrases to learn out of the total eight phrases that we're going to be playing. So um, let's learn them phrase by phrase at this point. Okay, starting on the A part, the first phrase. So it starts, I'm, th these notes, if you're not familiar with playing in a cross tuning, um, you can play this in standard if you'd like to, to do that, but your fingers won't be the same as mine. But we're gonna start on an F sharp, which is actually your first finger on your low E string, the one that's normally a D string. Okay, so it sounds like this. typical old-time bowing which is called a rock up when you're putting two notes or two two notes on the same bow um, it could be two different pitches or the same pitch but it sounds like two bows but instead I'm putting them all in the same bow direction so we call that a rock up and you kind of give your hand a pulse for the rock so that happened at the end of the phrase Let's try that with that up on those two A's. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to play the whole A part, and I would like for you to come in playing that phrase for the first phrase, and then also for the third phrase, because it's the same. This will give you a little preview of what's to come for two and four, but all you're responsible for right now is one and three. So let's start the tune together. One, two, three. I'll play phrase two. Play with me. This is phrase three now. I'll play four. Now repeat the first phrase. want to stop the video and go back and work on that again that's a good idea to do to loop a couple of times so for the second phrase so it starts on your open A these kind of phrases I love because they're the same three notes repeated over and over again so we're coming up the scale and back down and then back down one more time. Okay, so let's practice that second phrase again. One more time. One, two, three. 